this. Nobody's here and look how beautiful it is. Holy shit. What the hell? Oh my god. What? Hello everyone, my name is Momo and I hope you guys are all doing well. Today I want to show you my vlogs from Fukuoka. Well, actually I only vlogged one day in Fukuoka and this was the adventure which my friend in Japan planned. Let me show you guys where she took me. But before that, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to not miss my journey to actually live in Japan. And like this video. <laughs> First destination was a fish market, which was kind of famous for its fresh sushi, and it tasted incredible. I can't even describe it how good it tastes. Totally fresh sushi. It was the best sushi I ever had in the whole life, like on a totally different level from all the sushi I ever had before. I also had blowfish sushi. Blowfish is kind of famous because it's poisoned and really hard to prepare, so I really wanted to try blowfish for once at least. And it was interesting and tasted really really good. <laughs> There was also a temple near the market, so we took the chance to visit. I personally can't get enough of Japanese temples, but this one in particular was unique with a view on the sea. We went to a really, really incredible place, the Tsunoshima Bridge. It connects an island to the mainland. It looks super stunning and unique. I did tons of photos of it. And then we actually drove over the bridge, which was really fun and interesting. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever watched the anime Initial D, but on the way to our last destination we had the mountain to climb and the little downhill. It reminded me so much of the anime Initial D, the narrow street, the view, etc. <laughs> This place, Motonosu Minari Shrine, was the most stunning place I've ever been. This is maybe the Grand Canyon in the US. I actually got chills by seeing the view with all the red gates and the sea in the background. There was also a bigger gate at the beginning and this gate had a box on top. And if you succeed to throw in a coin in that box, you can wish for whatever and it should get fulfilled. <laughs> Yeah. 
I actually hit that box on the first try. Sadly, really the sad thing is I can't remember what I wished for. I just can't remember what I wished for. I'm so sad. But I'm glad I gave Iruko the camera and she actually could film it how I succeeded to hit the box. Sadly, she still failed to hit the box. relaxing and for me a total different feeling because normally I vlog sightsee and travel alone and I want to give you Eriko a huge thanks for meeting with me even for it was our first time seeing each other we only knew us from the internet through the app tandem and also for planning this awesome trip it was incredible it was my favorite day in the whole three weeks I was in Japan you were super kind to me even for we only knew us from the internet and I also want to give a huge huge thanks to Haruka Niko-chan it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for being so kind to me. I had a lot of fun and I really hope I will see all of you again. I can't thank you free enough for giving me one of the most memorable days I ever had. My door is always open if you ever wish to visit me in Switzerland. And at the very last, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wish to see my journey to actually live in Japan and like this video.